Welcome to our 10th video with data structures and algorithms. And we're going to finish up the merge sort algorithm in this video by talking about uh, the actual merge function. So the idea here is we have already sorted uh, two sides of some section of an array. Right? So now we need to merge those two sorted sections. So our arguments here, A, right, is our original array A, or our array A so far. Our starting index of this iteration here of merge sort. Our Q um, index, which is where our kind of, which marks basically the first half of our sorted uh, array or section. And then R is obviously <clears throat> the end. So the first thing that we do when we merge these two things is we make a copy of this section of A. And we copy that into an array called B here. Okay, that's what that indicates. And then we have to mark a few things. On B, we're marking the first index of the left sorted side and the first index of the right sorted side. And then we're also going to mark out the first index of A, where we start to actually copy down uh, these values back into A in the sorted order. Then we have a while loop here. Now this is where most of our, this is where all of our sorting actually happens. So this first condition basically means if there's, basically checks to see if there's still elements in the left side. This second condition checks to see if there's more elements still in the right side. So really what we're doing here is we're checking these first two indices, right, of each side. And we check to see if th this first one is less than or equal to uh, the second one. So is 5 less, less than or equal to 1? It is not, right? So we come down here and we copy the first this index over here on the second side into A. So this is going to be brought over here. So if we go down, we get this out, and we copy uh, 1 down, right, for this one. And we also, right, so we are done with this one. And so we need to increment J here. Okay, we can get rid of this line. So now uh, we also need to, all right, need to increment z. So here's z. Now we check again, right? Here's our new one. That's 3. Is 5 less than or equal to 3? Obviously not. So we copy down 3 instead. And I'm just going to colors. Here's 3. And again, we need to increment, right, some of these little markers that we have for ourselves. Okay, and we're done with that one, right? So 3 is done, and here's our next one. Now, is 4 less than or equal to, uh, or no, is 5 less than or equal to 4, right? Obviously not. So... We need to copy this down, right? So that's what we do. We copy the 4 down here. And we need to increment, right, these guys over here. So we are done with the 4. Now we're on the 7. 5 less than or equal to 7. Yes. So now we start to see. So A is Z, B be I this time. So we copy down 5 right in there. Obviously we need to increment our indices here. Okay, so we're done with 5. Right, we've got 6 here. Is 6 less than or equal to 7? Yes. Yes it is. So we copy this one down. Okay, and you can see how we're just copying these things down. 
basically from this temporary array and just moving our indices through here. So this one is six is done. We've got nine. It's nine less than or equal to seven. No. All right, so seven gets copied down. And again, we move our indices. Z always moves. OK, and we are done with 7, and now we are on 9. Is 9 less than or equal to 9? Yes, it is. So we copy that down. All right, here's 9. And now this is done. Oops, that was on the wrong thing here. So that's done. And we need to increment right, our indices here, Z, and let's see, where was I? Right here. Just get this out of here, right? And so we're done with that one. And so now, Q is no longer, or I is no longer less than or equal to Q. So we break out of the while loop, and now we have this last line down here. And what this all this line is doing is it's copying the rest of one of these two sides into the rest of A. Since um, J is not greater than R, right? J is equal to R. Then we go over here to our else, and we say from A, from uh, we copy in from J to R, right? J to R, which is just this one element in our case. We copy that into A from Z to R, which is still the same element. So we copy this down, right? And it's obviously the same one, but we do it anyways. And then we're done. So that's how we do the merge portion of merge sort.